Right now at 6, the appeals hearing underway for former Milwaukee police officer Christopher Manny. This all started almost a year ago in Red Arrow Park, downtown Milwaukee. Then Officer Manny shot and killed Dontre Hamilton. Hamilton was sleeping in the park when Officer Manny checked on him. He said Hamilton wrestled his baton away and started hitting the officer. Manny then shot and killed Hamilton. Chief Flynn later fired the officer, saying Manny did not follow proper police protocol. Our team coverage begins tonight with Katie Crowther. She's in the media room just outside the hearing. Katie? Courtney and Charles, as you said, I'm here in the media room. I can watch everything as it unfolds right here on this screen. As you can see right now on the stand is Officer Andrew Fuerte, who was one of the first officers to respond to Red Arrow Park to check on the welfare of Dontre Hamilton. He was called to the stand by Chief Flynn's attorney. Now, before Officer Fuerte, Officer Robert Fitchett was called to the stand. He was also called to Red Arrow Park initially. He said that Hamilton did not appear to be causing any problems at the park, and it was not unusual for people to be lying in the park on certain days. Now, Officer Chris Manny's attorney was able to cross-examine him, and he will also cross-examine this current witness. Both attorneys have started off very clear in their questioning and have expressed their goals thus far. Did Officer Manny have reasonable suspicion to conduct a pat-down frisk of the outer clothing of Mr. Hamilton? Or, as alleged by the chief, did he attempt to conduct this pat-down based solely, solely upon an assumption of Mr. Hamilton's mental state and housing status? I will ask on behalf of the chief that you determine that the good of the service requires that the chief's decision to discharge Officer Manny be permanent in nature. Now, how this will work today and tomorrow is first, Chief Flynn's attorneys will call their witnesses. Each witness can then be cross-examined by Officer Manny's witnesses. And then, after all those witnesses are called, Officer Manny's attorneys can call up their witnesses, and the Chief's attorneys can question them. It's going to be a long process. We will be here for it all and bring you the updates. Reporting live, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. Yeah, very much like a court setting, but this is an appeal hearing. Thank you, Katie.